Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I want to buy some USB flash drives. A friend of mine told me that you can customize the drives with my company logo. Is that correct? That's correct. But since it would be a special order, you'll have to pay a deposit of one and a half times the total. Of course, the balance of the deposit will be returned. I understand. But I need about 100 flash drives to pass out at a job fair. Would I qualify for a discount by buying in bulk? We generally don't offer discounts on custom orders, but seeing as how you want that many, I think I could cut the price a little for you. Number 32. What special feature does the man request for the USB flash drives? Number 33. What does the woman say the man must do? Number 34. What does the woman say about discounts? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Darren, I just noticed that I'm missing a receipt from my travel expenses, and I was about to submit a request for reimbursement. I took some clients to lunch in Miami last week, and I must have misplaced the receipt from the restaurant. Is that a problem? It's not a big deal. You'll still get reimbursed for it. Write a note that you're missing the receipt and submit it with the form, then include the cost of the meal with the rest of the itemized expenses. I could do that, but I don't remember the total amount. I guess I could just call my credit card company and find out. Number 35. What is the conversation mainly about? Number 36. What does the man suggest the woman do? Number 37. Why does the woman say she will call her credit card company? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation Melanie, have you heard about how the company is going to open an office in Singapore? I see they're recruiting current employees to volunteer for reassignment. There's an informational meeting this Friday. I heard about the Singapore office from my supervisor. It sounds like it might be a great opportunity. Are you thinking about taking a position overseas? I'm going to the meeting to check it out. I've always wanted to experience living abroad, and I could use a change of scenery. Are you going to the meeting? I would, but I'm doing a product demo at the Computex convention, and I'll be gone for most of the week. But maybe we can catch up sometime next week. I'm curious to know what they're offering. Number 38. What is the company's plan? Number 39. What is the man considering? Number 40. Why is the woman unable to attend the meeting? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hey, Ethan. I had a chance to look over the vacation packages that you put together for our summer promotional sale, and I have to say, I'm very impressed. I appreciate that, Gretchen. I did my best. And it shows. Would you consider joining my team for a new project? We're looking to expand our web business with special last minute airfare deals. I need someone with experience in sourcing fares. It sounds like it would be right up my alley. I have a meeting with my manager tomorrow afternoon, so I could bring it up then. If you don't mind, I'd like to stop by the meeting and go over the details with both of you. I'm sure your manager will want to know what the project entails and how much of your time it's going to take. That will work. Number 
Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 42. What does the woman propose? Number 43. What does the man mean when he says, That will work? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I'm interested in several rental properties listed on your agency's website. I'll be in Denver for an extended period of time on business, and I would prefer to stay in a service department rather than a hotel. Well, thanks for calling. Which properties are you interested in? My office is downtown, so proximity to public transportation is important. I noticed a one bedroom apartment in Evergreen Terrace that's right next to the subway station. Is it still available? The one bedroom apartment in Evergreen Terrace is still vacant. Do you have a general idea of how long you'll be in Denver? Number 44. Where, most likely, does the woman work? Number 45. What does the man say about his office? Number 46. What information does the woman request? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, Mr. Kinsade. My name is Maya Santos, and I'm a journalist for Holistic Attitude magazine. I've heard wonderful things about the new employee wellness initiatives that you introduced to your company. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. I'd be happy to answer your questions. How did the program begin? Well, we started by focusing on changes to our employee cafeteria. We hired a nutritionist to create healthy menu options and brought in a new chef from a local catering company. Hasn't that been a major cost increase for the company? Actually, it's been the exact opposite. We've cut cafeteria expenses and seen a market improvement in employee health and morale. Our people are well fed and more productive than ever. Number 47. Who is the woman? Number 48. What has the man recently done? Number 49. What does the man say about the cost of the program? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. I'm really looking forward to hearing Greg Patterson's talk. I have all of his books on branding and market strategy. With experts like him, this conference is shaping up to be one of the best. Well, look, the auditorium is packed. The only available seats are here in the back. I think I see a couple of empty seats further ahead. Don't you want to be close enough to see the slides that go with the presentation? I wouldn't worry about that. Look at the size of the video screen. We'll be able to see everything from back here. Let's grab these seats while we have the chance. Number 50. What type of event are the speakers attending? Number 51. What does the man mean by? The auditorium is packed. Number 52. What does the man say about the video screen? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hello, my name is Ross Rubin. I have a checking account at your branch, but I recently moved. 
I have requested that my account be transferred to your branch here in Emeryville, but I'm told that hasn't happened yet. The account number is 6537552111. I'm pulling up your account now, Mr. Rubin. Yes, your request is in the system, but I see that it's been flagged for review. We need your signature on the transfer request form. Did I forget to sign it? Oh, no. Do I need to come down there in person? Not necessarily. I can email a copy of the form, just print it out, sign it, and fax it back to me. Number 53. What type of business is the man calling? Number 54. What problem does the woman mention? Number 55. What does the woman say she will do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation between three speakers. Thanks for coming, guys. Our number one priority is Dexima Skin Care Products. The company is concerned that sales have declined over the last few months. Does anyone have any suggestions for turning things around? As more and more men are concerned about their personal appearance, we should advertise on sports and fitness websites. We need to put Dexima products where the average man can see them. Speaking of which, Greg, didn't you help Chess Hunt market their hair loss products for men? Yes, I managed the consumer focus groups and weighed in on some key issues in terms of ad placement. Right. So I think you should share some of your experiences with the whole team at next week's meeting. I could do that. Number 56. Where is the conversation most likely taking place? Number 57. What does the woman suggest? Number 58. What does the woman think Greg should do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hey, Jason. Quick question. Your company has hired staff through a recruiting agency in the past, haven't you? Yes. In fact, I've used in-source staffing solutions to hire a number of software engineers. Have you been satisfied with their service? I'm asking because business is booming at my restaurant, and I may be looking for help in the near future. InSource is one of the leading recruiters in the technology industry, so I don't think they are a good option for you. People Power specialises in blue-collar workers. You should try them. Number 59. What are the speakers discussing? Number 60. What type of business does the woman own? Number 61. What does the man suggest? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and price list. Jay, you know the new amusement park's grand opening is this weekend, and I'm organizing a group of people from our department who want to go. What do you think? I meant to ask you about that. How much is admission? It varies. I have the pricing right here. Twelve people have already signed up, so we'd qualify for the group discount. Would it be okay if my wife joined us? I was actually planning on taking her after the grand opening. It would be a great surprise for her. Absolutely. In fact, a couple of people are planning to bring their spouses. The more, the merrier. Cool. Which night are we planning on going? Friday night after work. If we have enough people, I'm thinking about chartering a bus. Number 62. What type of event are the speakers discussing?
Number 63. What does the man want to do? Number 64. Look at the graphic. What ticket price will the speakers probably pay? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and room schedule. Frank, I just got off the phone with Nora Stevens from Top Shelf. She's looking for a public relations firm to promote the launch of their new brand, Brass Ring. I asked her to come in this afternoon and meet with you to discuss our services. Nora Stevens, she's one of the most up and coming entrepreneurs in the city. I had better call Judith and have her reserve the executive conference room. We want to make a good impression on Ms. Stevens. Ah, Scott Granger has reserved it for this afternoon. He's interviewing some candidates for the summer internship. Couldn't he do that in one of the associate conference rooms? Nora Stevens should be our priority. It would be a nice boost for the company to land her as a client. I know, you're right. I'll call Scott and explain the situation. I'm sure he'll agree to move. Number 65. Where do the speakers work? Number 66. What does Frank think Scott should do? Number 67. Look at the graphic. According to the man, what event is Scott in charge of? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and floor plan. Darla, would it be possible to approve the office assignments for the relocation before you head to the airport? I know your flight leaves at four, but this will only take a minute. Oh, I meant to do that this morning. What have you got? Okay, have a look. These two have been assigned to Nick and Randy, respectively. And you've got the office next to the kitchen, so you're closer to the receptionist. You're taking the corner office, I assume? Well, yes. I need the extra space to host meetings with clients. That's fine. I just hope the relocation goes well in my absence. I trust you to make sure everything runs smoothly. Number 68. According to the man, what will the woman be doing later today? Number 69. What does the man say about the corner office? Number 70. Look at the graphic. Which office has been assigned to the woman?